Just a quick recap. We talked about food security and its relation to our food systems. And we also looked at how it's related to various biophysical and economic trends and challenges. Our land resources and the biodiversity that underpins our land and water. Population growth and urbanization. Economic growth. Access to technology. Climate change the natural and man-made hazards that are affecting our ability to have stable production, and pests and diseases. For example, the locust swarms that have been affecting large parts of East Africa in the last year. These are some of the current and future challenges. So let's talk a little bit about how these challenges are affecting our ability to produce sufficient food to meet demand. So what are the challenges for our future food security? I'll outline a few here. Climate change, is for sure a big impact. And this affects the stability of our production over time. Any changes in our production due to climate change can lead to price shocks. Shocks can rise quite quickly if there's insufficient supply to meet demand. And more frequent extreme weather events will have an impact on our production and lead to these kind of shocks. If climate change impacts the land and the weather severely enough, people may have to abandon the land because it's no longer productive or unprofitable. We're experiencing rapid urbanization in Africa and Asia as various countries develop. This affects the availability and access of food because that leads to increased demand for affordable food in the cities and the infrastructure to deliver it, to store it, and to provide it to everyone. There's also, due to our development and moving people out of poverty, a large growth in the middle class. And this is a good thing. But that economic growth is leading to an increased demand for meat and dairy products, which in the way we currently produce them is just not sustainable. We also have an increased consumption of highly processed and micronutrient poor foods. Fast foods can be part of this. So there's a utilization issue as well. And the malnutrition and knock-on effects in health, development, and the economy from the increased consumption of these kind of foods can be severe. We also have food safety issues. We have limited resources to manage our complex food chains. Food is moved around the world in many different ways. So how do we manage and monitor those? And how do businesses and consumers know and trust the food that they get and understand where it came from and how it was produced? We could even think of COVID-19 in this context. If you look at where we think COVID-19 originated, some of the first examples of transmissions between animals and people, it came from food markets. It's the way that we manage our food systems can really have a big impact way beyond agriculture. So how do we close the food gap? How do we close the gap from production to consumption to meet future demand? What do we know right now? we have a world of about 7.8 billion people. In 2050, it's estimated there'll be around 10 billion people on the planet. That increased population and the trends we are seeing in consumption patterns, so it's not just the number of people, but it's what those people consume, combine to mean that by 2050, we'll need to produce 70% more calories than we do now from our crops, from our livestock, from our fisheries. The big question then is how to feed 10 billion people in 2050.